I started working here at Cafe Pizzeria like May of 2021, so kind of like in the end of COVID. And it's been really fun so far, and like I learned a lot about the place. The Webb family owns it, but it was like made in 1953, and it was one of the first, it was the first pizzeria here in Bloomington, so we get a lot of like locals or townies who come in who've been coming in since they were like really young. During game season or like any type of big event like Little Five or Homecoming or anything like that, it's like we get a lot of business and I usually work like four or five days a week and when I was a student here working, I used to see my classmates come in all the time. Even the only time it's like we don't see as many students is in the summertime, but then like that's a, I guess kind of a downside, but then on the plus side of that, we get like students who are new coming, who are doing like their tours, or we get a lot of like locals who are like, hey, like the students aren't here, so like we can come down and actually enjoy some food without like drunk kids everywhere. But while the students are here, it's really, it's a lot more busy, especially like I said, during those like busier days or like football games, especially like it gets really busy on Saturdays and Sundays and then there was this one time there's a couple stories actually like especially like when everyone's lit after a football game they come in here um, it was myself Crosby and two mid people and like usually we don't allow people to come in through the back of the restaurant just because like that's where we go to like have our rest days some dudes like super drunk and just like walks back and forth through the pizzeria, like through the front and back doors, and we're like, who is this guy? And like, he comes in and we grab one of our pizzas off the big oven, and it's like really hot. That oven's like 500 degrees. Probably not that high, but like high. And he gets burned, but we're like, we already told him like five times he can't keep doing that. And yeah, he got super mad and like cussed everyone out, but it was just like, you're not allowed to do that. And like, we tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because he was drunk, but like, Sometimes people just don't care, they just do what they want. This particular store has been here for around 20 years, I believe. So it's very tied to the community and IU. Everyone, you know, people will come back after, you know, years being like alumni of IU and say they've always loved coming to Soma and they always have stories about when they used to come here when they went to college. Um, so it definitely has deep ties to the community. And I'm, I'm excited, or like, I'm happy to work at a coffee shop that has such deep history in the community itself. So, but I, my, my, or I myself have not experienced much of it yet, just because I've only been working here for about six months. It really is busy during the school year, um, just because I'm guessing students need coffee uh, and it's just a nice place to hang out but it was it was strange to go into the summer and basically just be dead from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. usually when we close um, it definitely has a big change in our business when the students go home for the summer we we do everything we can from cleaning prepping you know, for the next day, um, trying to just keep everything tidy and, but there's only so much you can do when in, like in a coffee shop <laughs> when there aren't any customers around, but um, it hasn't been too bad because we still do have a customer base when the students are gone and some students stay during the summer because of summer classes and such. Um, so it isn't that bad, um, but it definitely it definitely takes a toll on the business when the students leave for the summer. Um, but it, again, it isn't it isn't business killing. So.